So good afternoon. Um, obviously, this is not the update that I wanted to give to everyone today. Earlier today, the Orange County Sheriff's Office Emergency Response Team was searching the area of Timber Scan Apartments that's off of South Texas Avenue in Orange County. And that's when they discovered a body we believe to be uh, that of Mia Marcano. About an hour ago, detectives notified Mia's parents of our tragic news. Our hearts are broken. I told you Thursday that hundreds of Orange County Sheriff's Office personnel were committed uh, to this case and working uh, very hard. Uh, everyone wanted this outcome to be different. So why were we at Timber Scan Apartments? So uh, cell phone records uh, showed us that Caballero was in or near the Timber Scan Apartments on Friday evening between eight and nine o'clock. Uh, that's the evening that she was reported missing. And he was there for about 20 minutes. Uh, nothing in the records indicate that he ever returned there uh, prior to killing himself. Uh, so we went, we sent search teams out first thing this morning. Uh, that's when they found uh, what we believe to be Mia. Uh, and although uh, we are very certain of the identity, uh, the positive identification will have to come from the medical examiner's office. At this time, we cannot identify a cause of death, so I don't want to speculate on that. Uh, you know, the most important thing right now is that unfortunately, uh, we, we have found what we believe to be the remains of Mia. So I know many of you were in New Smyrna Beach yesterday as we were there for a day and a half. And the reason we were so focused on that area is because again, cell phone records directed us to that area uh, and indicate uh, the most activity in New Smyrna Beach. In fact, he was there uh, Saturday morning of the, of the 25th uh, between three and 4 a.m. for about an hour in that area. So that's why we were there for so long and focused a lot of our efforts there. Um, so, you know, as a community, you know, as a sheriff, as a father, you know, obviously we are uh, grieving the loss of Mia. Again, we can't imagine uh, the pain and anguish that Mia's you know, parents, their family, the loved ones and the friends and really our entire community have, have gone through and, and will continue to go through. You know, on behalf of the men and women of the Orange County Sheriff's Office, you know, we offer our deepest condolences uh, to Mia's parents and her family and our loved ones. So I'll take some questions at this time.